Hey everybody, Windstreak here. Do you want to make your own video games? Of course you do, that's why you clicked on this link. Well this is episode one of my tutorial to quickly get you all started making your very own video games. And the best news is, it is free. If you find these videos useful, please go ahead, smash that like and subscribe button, and throw any questions or requests down in the comments. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And without further ado, let's get started. We're going to be starting off with a brand new project this time, so we'll go ahead and click that menu, new project. We can name it whatever you want. And go ahead and click that create button, and we'll hop inside. And the first thing I'm going to do is double click here and that'll pop up our create new object. You can also right click anywhere and insert new object. It's the same thing. Uh, you just have to make sure you're not doing it on top of another object. Otherwise you'll open up the other object. And we're going to start out with a tile map. And this will allow us to design the background a lot faster. So I'm just going to click here and there's a pre-made tile map but we don't want to use that. I've got uh, some sprites from Pixel Frog. I'll throw all the information to find them in the bottom as always. And we're going to start out with background. No, we don't want background. Terrain. And he has a bunch of little tile maps drawn up for us. We're going to drag and drop it in here. And for now I will close that. And uh, yours will probably pop up down here. My settings are not set up for it. So I'm going to hop in here, go to view and bars, and my tile map is just unchecked. So I'm going to click this, and it's over here. I'm just going to attach it to the bottom. And this will allow us to work with those tile maps. And I'm just going to focus on these ones right here. So I'm going to open up this. It's going to be the uh, tile brush editor, and it will let you set up an auto brush. So if I go there and click on Edit Brush, I will just start filling all these in. Oop, uh, right now I am on uh, 32 by 32, and this map is 16 by 16, so let's jump out of that. And you make sure you have your object selected, and it'll give you options to edit on the left side here, all the properties. We're just going to set that to 16 width, 16 height. And re-click that and go back into my editor. And now I'm just going to fill all these in. My goal here is to set this up where I am inside of this as a cave. So I will have my insides be just pure black. And then my outsides are going to be these walls here. And we'll start off there. And... we'll do this and we're just setting what each one's going to be here and it auto moves over so we can just click and fill them real quick and that should do what we're looking for and this button here will layer that on top so we'll kind of show you and from here we are drawing on this tile map I'm going to hold control and roll out with my mouse wheel that will zoom me out and I'll show, this is my whole screen right here. I'll move this. This white area is going to be the whole uh, map area that I can draw on. This right here is going to be what we see when we run the game. So I'm going to put this back where it was, and I'm just going to drag it a little bigger. That way if something hits the edge, it won't stop me from putting it down there. It lets me run off a little bit, even though we won't be able to see it. Uh, that way we don't have a small gap between the edge and the actual map that we can use. Then from there, since I have my tool done, I'm just going to select it. I did it on brush zero. And click on that and we can go ahead and draw. So I'm going to hold control and zoom back in. And I'm going to start drawing. And it'll look weird until it gets filled in. And then it kind of just figures out what you meant. And if it's wrong, we can always go in and edit it on top. Alright, and a few things to note. We're going to want to make sure that these have enough room for our character to fit through. 
Uh, we can obviously always edit our character size and make things fit how we want. But we don't want any super small gaps here that make us have to edit down more than we want to. And then also I plan on having this little path here. We run along, we get up, and then we're going to drop into a large room. So I'm going to use this uh, drag and drop. I'm just going to go ahead and drop the large room. And then I can worry about filling in the sides. And it's just a little faster. And I'm on drag and drop, so I don't have to be perfect with where I put them. As long as I hold down my mouse, I can edit it and then let go when I'm ready. Alright, and then when I run this again, oops, any mistakes, you can always just hit this erase button and just pull them off there. But we'll run over here and jump down. This pretty much right here and over is not going to be seeable on the map. And we'll worry about that later. We'll set up a camera to follow our character and it'll show this whole room when we get there. But for now, we have our map background. And now we will set our actual background. And I'll go back to our pixel frog stuff. And we're going to go to background. And I just want this little gray background. And this will remove this boring white and just give it a little more detail. And like I was saying earlier, if you try to double click and you're on top of something else, it won't let you. So you got to go off of that object, which is huge. So if I just mouse wheel up, I can go above it. And we're still inside of tile map. So I'm going to click this select button, and now let me click off. So I'm double clicking here, and we are going to tile background. And we got that background that I already selected out. I'm just going to drag and drop it in. And set it right there. I'll come over to the side, make sure we cover everything. And what makes tile background so neat is they will continuously overlap each other. So you can just drag and drop, and it automatically fills it in. And we'll just make sure we cover everything. And we can always edit it later if we need to. But that covers everything. And then to show what we already worked on, we're just going to push this down. We're using the Z order. So that's just like a, a stacking model. So the thing on the highest Z model will be on top, so we'll see it. So we want to push this down to the bottom, because the background will always be behind everything else. So. I'm just going to send bottom of the layer and that puts it behind this and then so we don't accidentally click on this again I'm just gonna lock it and now if I click on it it acts like I clicked on nothing so it's trying to let me open up a new object and I can always re-click on it by right clicking and just unlocking all or unlocking all on layer 0 which would both do the same thing right now because I only have layer 0 and now it'll let me select here again so I'll go ahead and show you real quick unlock all and now I can click on it again. But we want that locked because we have no edits to make to it. And we'll leave it there. And one last thing we'll have to do. And that is to edit our hitboxes, or our collision points. So we'll have to come in here and edit each one individually uh, since I use all nine of these. So I'll just start from the top and we're going to make it so that the black space is just cave background that we can walk in and obviously we can't walk through this so we'll have to add extra points to some of these and you just right click on a point click add point and that'll allow you extra spots to drag and drop and there we can see that we'll be able to walk in this area and not on this area and we'll close that one and we'll do this for the rest of them And this one will be a little different since we have no collision on this at all. We're actually going to edit it from here. We'll just right click it. And we're going to want to disable selected tile collisions. 
and you can double click and now it's red so that just means the whole thing is not going to be a collision all right we're done with all those and we'll go ahead and add the behavior of solid and now those spots will actually be solid and stop our character from going through and that finishes up today's uh, instructions and I'll catch you next time we'll add the characters and let them move around and have the camera follow them hope you all have a good one